This video is about recently introduced high-yielding banana varieties. Bananas and plantain are a very important source of livelihood in East and Central Africa, contributing to both food and cash needs of people in the region. The main uses for banana are cooking, juice and beer, and dessert or a snack. Most of the local cooking bananas are East African Highland bananas. These are usually cooked by steaming, boiling or roasting. One of the varieties most preferred by farmers is called Bologoma. My plantation is made up entirely of Mpologoma. I don't have any other varieties. When you compare Mpologoma to other local bananas, you find that Mpologoma has a better yield and it is less susceptible to wind. This is because it has a short stature, while other varieties are very tall. Even if there are high winds, it survives. While Mpologoma is a variety enjoyed by many farmers, along with all other East African Highland bananas, it is susceptible to a number of production constraints, including pests and diseases and a low drought tolerance. Other varieties more tolerant to some of these constraints have been introduced. They include the following. NSH20. This is a high-yielding banana hybrid that has a good taste and color when cooked. It is also resistant to black cicatoka disease. NSH42 is used for making juice. It generally gives a big bunch and the juice is very sweet with a bright color. FIA17. This is a high-yielding banana that is multi-purpose. It can be cooked, used to make juice, or eaten as a snack. FIA 17 gives a high yield. Even though this will be our first harvest, it looks like we will get a good yield, which will be very satisfying. When I arrive at the plantation, I get very excited. I've never had this feeling of excitement before, when I was growing traditional varieties. Sometimes I even bring along a chair to sit on, and I admire my banana plants. It's a very good plantation. We got the idea of coming together to set up a cooperative because of the extreme poverty that we were in. We saw that the best thing to do was to give priority to the banana crop. Previously in this area, we had poorly performing Kayinja plantations that were not profitable. We had bad varieties that didn't give any juice, and we would make losses. When we used to extract juice from local varieties, 10 small bunches would give us about 8 liters of juice. But now, with a single FIA 25 banana bunch of up to 130 kilos, we get more than 20 liters. These things show that farmers should invest in banana farming. Be it FIA 17 or FIA 25, because they really have a market. The thing that really encouraged us to grow FIAs and to adopt better management practices is that we also discovered that FIA gave us a very good yield. A small bunch weighs about 70 kilos, with a big one being up to 130 kilos, and that's a really big yield. I therefore encourage my fellow farmers, especially the women, because they are the ones I see really enjoying the bananas and farming in general. But if the men decided to grow FIA, they will earn a lot of money. Many people have gone into processing wines and juices with FIA bananas, and there is nothing they won't attain. They will earn a lot of money and the processors will benefit from varieties that give good juice that doesn't spoil. I want to emphasize that if someone is determined, there really is nothing they can't attain. Fia bananas have made us rich, and we're not afraid to say so. Also important in the East and Central Africa region are plantain varieties. These varieties are more common in the Democratic Republic of Congo, but there is a growing market in nearby countries, especially in urban and peri-urban areas. 
Plantains can be steamed, fried, roasted or used to make plantain chips that are eaten as a snack. Also widely enjoyed as snack bananas are Camera Masenge and Gromichel varieties. Unfortunately, these are both affected by Fusarium wilt and this greatly reduces their yield. To deal with this problem, a Cavendish variety has been introduced, called William. The advantage of William is that it is resistant to Fusarium wilt and does not get infected like Camera Masenge William gives very sweet juice and a good beer. It is high in sugar and therefore is a nice, sweet dessert banana. Even in poor soils it will give you a good bunch, while in fertile soils it excels, giving a large bunch. We see it as a new variety that can replace other traditional varieties that have become affected by fusarium in order to obtain any of the banana varieties mentioned in this film, please contact your nearest banana program office. RAB in Rwanda, INERA in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and ISABU in Burundi.